Welcome. What an auspicious day. We had two speakers educating us on how to be successful in different ways. Today, I'm here to evaluate Michelle's speech, where she talked about social media, and I thought it was a really well-constructed speech about the ways we should think about social media, and I really enjoyed the way you structured each section, especially around a story, and I'll get to that in a moment, but first, I wanted to say you had really interesting word uses throughout. My favorite, I think, was behemoth. We also talked about a recipe for success and things along those lines that really helped get your message across. As usual, you had really nice gestures. You have no problem using your body to make a point. I like the big shrug when you said, sometimes I like to, and it just very clear you're into your talk, into your story as you're moving your body around. However, today, the one thing I saw from you that was a little restrained with some of your usual passion. When you're telling a story about motorcycling and other things like that, you get really into it big and vocal and have a lot of pitch and volume variance. And today you were very staid. And actually, I would argue in a speech like this, we want to see that natural passion. I know you care about this. You've been doing this for years. This is something you like to do and you care about. It's an arcane topic, social media, especially in the way you're trying to teach it to us. Most of us are not, excuse me, experts on it, but we do for our businesses, for our social life, need to know about it. Bring that passion, it'll make you more interesting and definitely it's something that's natural to you and I was surprised not to see it today. The other thing that I would consider with this speech, and this is more of just a thought, as opposed to a specific recommendation would be make it two or three parts. You have a lot of good information and with the way you did it, which I loved, it's going to take time to get through each section of social media. But saying that, I liked how you constructed it. Specifically, each section was around a story. So the stories I heard today, you had a great story about TGI Fridays. Basically, it's hard to get in touch sometimes with a company, but if you know how to use Facebook and say, I want to get your emails and I'm not, guess what? If you know how to use social media, you might be able to get a response. Same thing when you were talking about your friend on Twitter who found out about Osama Bin Laden. She was making the point that news comes out on Twitter and if you're paying attention to Twitter, you might be one of the first to know. Twitter. Let her know Osama bin Laden died before anyone else. Great story. Makes a very specific point about what you were saying about Twitter. And lastly, Pinterest. I like the fact that you changed it up and actually made it a story of failure. This is not a good way to use Pinterest. If you're a company that doesn't really talk about barbecues, why are you talking about barbecues? It doesn't accentuate your message. At the same time, if you come back here and say, I'm going to do a three-part speech, today I'm going to talk about these three, and I'll talk about the next three next time, yeah. I think you could have a really good speech every time. Mr. General Evaluator. Thank you.